What's up? Bringing something just a slightly bit different. Normally I just do the let's play stuff and the whatnot, but this is something that just came out. Relatively interesting. I thought nothing of it at first. It's a Chronicle RuneScape Legends. Now, as you can see, it looks a bit half stonish. We got we got cards that you play for your different classes or heroes, separated by support, attack. Which is something I feel half half stone should probably have, like just a little quick tab between monsters and magic. They might have added that in an update. I haven't played half stone in a while. This is currently in beta, so there's only five. Yep, five five uh, class classes heroes that you can pick from the game. I'm not sure if they're actual RuneScape characters. I think Osman is one. I'm not sure about the others. But uh, yeah, you go into the game. I'm just gonna. We're going to quickly show the tutorial here, and you'll see that it's actually surprisingly different than Hearthstone. Uh, the presentation is nicer, for one. Here's just a tutorial saying like, hey, here's the, here's the class that you're going to get. Open the box. Fine. And we get Raptor. Who might end up being my main because I love how this guy works. Best way to describe it is the warrior from Hearthstone, where it's just armor for days. Yep, yeah, so we get skeleton warrior. Skeleton warriors. That's 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 a reference that even I am too young. To rightfully remember. But I know of it, don't worry. I'm hip with the 80s. Was it 80s? I think I think Skeleton Warriors is 80s. I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is just walking you through how the card, the numbers that's in the bottom is the gold that you get, the health you get, or the little fire symbol is the permanent attack bonus you get. That's the rivals up at the top. I'm watching this in a preview window, so not all the text is visible to me. So I'm just trying to wing it as best I can. You see, what you do in this is you don't just play cards to attack your opponent like in Hearthstone. You lay out cards to plan out your own mini adventure, so to speak. And while you go along your mini, your little mini quest, your opponent is also doing so. And this is just going through attack. Your your fire is your attack versus their hearts, which is their health. You strike first, and they strike you. And you strike again. Yeah, when, you, when your health hits zero, you die. Spoiler alert. I do a lot of that. Let's heal. Yep. I was, I was about to say, and they just said it for me, that you can't have a maximum of 30 health. You can't have more than 30, well not more than 30, but you can have unlimited armor, but you can't have more than 30 health, which is good, I guess. And when you get to the end, you get chap you get sent to, right to chapter 2. And there's a maximum of 5 chapters in each um, little quest, I guess you call it, quest, adventure, interchangeable. You get 4 cards every time you go to a new chapter, you can't have more than 10 per hand. Yeah, that's, that's telling you about card effects. Again, works similar to Hearthstone. There's card effects that work when you uh, when you are at low health. There's card effects that as draw cards, card effects to sacrifice health, sacrifice armor, all sorts of things. So this is gonna be draw one card when I kill it and get one gold because gold symbol at the bottom. That gives me four armor when I kill him. There we go. Working much like warriors in the half stones. Rival got two gold for that. Find it a little odd that it's like I understand it's the tutorial, but logically, waiting until this late to play your first card is a bit odd. Okay, now this, 
I am certain all of these, all of these little um, locations are actual in-game locations. Because that Mage's Tower, I swear that's in RuneScape. It's been years since I touched RuneScape. Like apparently it doesn't look like 3D shit anymore. Which I'm not sure I'm okay with. Because that was brilliant. That had its own charm. That was the RuneScape I remember. But I swear the Mage's Tower is where you do the like, the Imp Catcher side quest. Not side quest, the, it's an actual quest. So you have the Imp Catcher quest and stuff like that. And all this music is RuneScape music as well. I do know that. But there's an odd, there's an odd charm to this game. Where it's like, if you play RuneScape, you know all of this. Even if you don't play RuneScape, there's, there's, a, there's an appeal. The way how it plays, how it looks, there's an appeal to this game. That just works, in my opinion. I feel like they purposely chose to do this. With the whole, not exactly... Like, you are competing, but it's not a standard TCG. It's more of a tabletop RPG TCG sort of thing. And I feel like that was a purpose choice. Because, or purposeful choice. Because, let's be honest. They're going, they're going into a competition against Hearthstone. And you don't really want to go into competition with Hearthstone, really. Because, this ever since Hearthstone came out, there's been so many games trying to chase that Hearthstone money. Trying to be the Hearthstone killer. Much like WoW. So many games trying to be the WoW killer. And that never works out. So this... This seems to know... Or they say that Jed Jedex? Jadex? I'm not sure how it's said. I've always said Jed Jedex. But it seems like they know... That... It's best to go with your own identity. Because if... I'm, I'm messing around here trying to figure out... Like, if turn order matters. And it actually does. Certain cards can't be played until you get the right amount of gold. And... If you take out certain cards in your play order, you won't amass the gold to use that card, so it's unusable. But yeah, as I was saying, it's best to come into this sort of stuff with your own identity. Just being a standard a standard TCG probably wouldn't do this game any favours, because it's RuneScape. Fans of RuneScape would love this. A standard TCG, but for RuneScape. But people who don't know RuneScape or don't care for RuneScape would have no reason to look into this. But this on the other hand, like I haven't played RuneScape in years and just looking at how this is presented and how it does it different to other TCGs got me interested. And also a mate of mine was like, hey I'm playing this, come join me. Am I No, I'm not gearing up, alright. Alright, for this, this is the final chapter, this is the fifth one, because there's five chapters in total. And when you get to the end, you fight to the death. Different, um, different classes have dif dif different means of play. Some do direct damage, some do life steal, stuff like that. As you can see, you can't attack your opponent. And if they don't die before you get to the very end, you duke it out. So, one of the best things I've noticed with the uh, warrior, with Raptor here, is before the end, just, just try to stock up armor. You can stock up your weapon damage, but armor is very important as well. And now you fight. Uh, I love how the animation is just really... You're just like tilting the figures. You just, t you just move the figures, just tilt them towards the enemy like yeah like you're a kid playing playing a little tabletop figurines like 40k or something that's great and that's pretty much it it's fairly quick games thankfully they don't go on as long as bloody Hearthstone which can take oh god Hearthstone games can take forever and I get ridiculously impatient which causes me to lose a lot because uh, sitting there for what feels like five minutes and someone takes a turn as long. But of course, there's a free to play cane. There's a cash shop. You can buy card backs, booster packs, stuff like that. With the, uh, I think it's, I think it's platinum. The in, the in game fun bucks that you have to buy. 
But there's also a normal in-game currency, so you can do it that way, thankfully. Just showing off the cards again. Didn't get anything new for that tutorial. Don't know why you would, you don't really level up from tutorials. Alright, now here's, a, here's me in a match with my mate. With my buddy. The buddy who got me into giving this a shot. Considered it, but then he was like, nah man, come on. I was like, alright, sure. Alright, I'll give this game a look. And let's just let's just say that it doesn't it doesn't go it doesn't go particularly well in my favour, shall we say. I think we had like five matches and I think I came close to winning two. The other three were just pug stomps. They were just pub stomps. Like he just looked at me and was like, bruh, bruh, what you doing? See, now the main problem is, with my matches against my mate here, he knows what he's doing. I wing it. I completely wing it. And also, one thing that he has shown, and you will see in this match, getting permanent attack damage is possibly the best thing in the game. Like I'm playing, we're both playing Raptor. I'm focus. I focus more armor because you know that's Raptor's thing. Gain armor. He focuses permanent damage, and you know what? That is better. Because what good is armor if he can just strip it away? Oh <laughs> uh, well. It's a learning process. It's a learning process. I would call John's and say like this was this was like one o'clock in the morning and I was well actually it was like eleven. But I would call John and say I was tired, I wasn't thinking straight, but it was the same for him. I can't call John's on that. It's the same time for him as well. I don't think it's this match, I think it's the next match. But oh that next match. My path is decided. I also take a, a fair amount of time on these turns because this is my first game. This is my first actual game out of the tutorial. I hadn't gone to solo play and I hadn't unlocked any of the other classes yet, any of the heroes. Because you have to beat them in solo play before you can use them. And I do like how they all play. And I, I'm interested to see as the as like this beta progresses, what other heroes they bring in. Because their Raptor, as I said, is all about armor. They have a mage, which is about direct damage mostly. There's um, Ozan or Osman, I can't remember. It was all about gold. You get gold for your support cards, which are good, like damage and shit. Like they're good support cards. Osman can have. And there's the blacksmith, which is all about getting a weapon and buffing that weapon like mad. And there's the vampire, whose name I don't remember, who's mostly about life steal. Stealing life from your opponents, stealing life from your creatures to keep yourself alive and stuff. So there's there's different ways to play. Best way I can, I can describe it for Hearthstone players is Raptor is warrior. Blacksmith is also warrior because there are there are weapon warrior decks. Osman is a resource guy, so that's probably I'd say warlock maybe. Probably okay. warlock or shaman. And the vampire is also warlock, it's all about health and stuff. And mage is clearly mage. So it's interesting to see what they could do with that. Okay, this discard, discard, this remove six health, gain eight armor. I don't record it, but there's one there's one match that me and me and my bud had here. Where that was my thing. I played two of those and I just went I I went the whole board with minimum health, maximum armor. Just complete suicidal run. That was fun. That was fun, and that was I oh. Like he beat me, but I got him down to two HP by the end of it. It was it was some clutch battle. Yeah, I can't, I can't stress it enough though. I in I. I really enjoyed the presentation for this game. 
And for that alone, I might keep coming back to this. Because Hearthstone was fun. I gave, I gave up Hearthstone though, because... I, I don't want to... I don't want to be quick to say it's pay to win. But when you don't... When you don't buy cards... You quickly become outclassed by people who do. Like, it's very clear. The people that put down, like, hundreds of quid. Hundreds of pounds into a game to get all the cards as opposed to someone who hasn't like if you're going for specific decks you don't need to find that much money because you can just aim for the cards that you're going for specifically but even then it's very very clear that in Hearthstone if you don't buy cards you are just objectively at a disadvantage to those who do whereas with this the it could be true as well for this as well for this. It could be true that in the long run, if you don't buy your cards, then you're just at you're just not gonna win against people that do. But the difference with this is I I can overlook that because the presentation is fun. With half stone, it's just play a card. Card effect happens. Attack. It's a it's a it's a card game. It's it's meant it's not meant to be more than that. But this is this is a tabletop RPG with a card game in it, and it just looks more fun to play, and it just is more fun to play. Keeps you engaged. That might just be me. Also, this feels a lot less random. This feels a lot less random than um half stone. That might not be true. Again, I haven't, I haven't played this long enough. I got played Hearthstone much more than this, so I could be wrong. But this does feel a lot less random, because at least, with, at least with this, like you get more of an idea of what's going to happen, how a game's going to play out. Like you, you pick, you look at your hand. In half so you look at your hand and you just go, okay, I played, you, you can plan out what you're going to play, but you mostly have to react to what your uh, opponent does. Whereas with this, that has, that, that has to be taken into consideration, but less so. This isn't so much a reactionary game like Hearthstone. This is more, you plan your adventure. If your opponent does stuff to affect you, you have to react to that and work around it. But this is more you plan and you build up your character for the end. And if you don't if you don't build up your character as effectively as your opponent does, they win. Whereas in Hearthstone, that doesn't really matter. You don't build up much. You can build up certain plays, but it's more just you reacting to them and just throwing out what you got. And with this, as you can see, with his with his Seven permanent damage to my four. Armor could not save me. No amount of armor could save me from the damage that he had built up. And that's it. A nice quick game. That was like nine minutes. Nice and quick. Now we're just gonna we're gonna now just jump forward. I'm just gonna jump forward while I have a little match with the the mage. I was I was commenting on how there was uh, when I was moving my mouse over the blank spots. I was I was commenting on how there's room for new heroes as the as the beta progresses. So I am interested to see how that goes, how that works out. Now this, now this is a much shorter match. This is not a nine-minute match. Let me, let me just get that out of the way. This does not last until the end, shall we say? Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello, have we met? I swear, I swear, this guy is a character in RuneScape, but I don't remember. And also, at this point in the game, I, I. This is my first um, match with the mage. 
You so I don't realise that her thing is from. direct damage to the the opponent. So I'm just looking at the cards, being like, oh, okay, this this could work. This could be nice. The penguin card is a good yet bad card to play, really, because discarding one card from your hand is not a good idea. It's really not. Especially after I get this, where I where I draw two cards. If I if I played the penguin card before drawing cards, that would probably be a good idea. Because drawing cards only to discard them is a bit worrying. Although it does widen your hand, so when you discard one random one, there's less chance of it being one that you care about. Which worked in my favour here. But yeah, tur tur turn order. The turn that you play certain cards is really, really important. That I did not realise while playing this. Also that card. That card is... Ooh, that's ridiculous. The size of your hand times two is the damage that you do to your opponent. And... The, max, the maximum you can have when you play that is 9. So 9 times 2 is 8. You can do 18 damage. So like if I, if I was able to play that now, I'd kill, him, I'd kill him outright. The only problem is, for maximum damage, it has to be the only card you play on the field. Or the last card and all the other cards prior to it, or some cards prior to it, cause you to draw cards. Uh, you have to plan an entire board around the use of that one card. Which I really like. Because again, you, you actively have to plan out each stage of your adventure. It's not just, I play a card, opponent ah, plays a card, react. It's no, you actually have to plan out how this adventure for your character is going to go. Also, one, prob one problem I have while playing this game. I'm not sure if it's evident in this match, but it becomes more evident in the matches that I didn't record. I don't look at my health. I forget my health is a factor. Like, I keep gold into account, I keep attack into account, but as you can see, I'm at 6 health. We're on chapter 2, I'm on 6 health. And he's at 10. Like it was here. At this point where I was like, wait, I'm at 6 health. What the fuck have I been doing? I have low because health. she said that, I realised. I was like, oh, oh, that's a bad. And I used that card here. Not sure if that was the best I idea. Do I have any... No, I don't have, I don't have any card draw cards. Alright, never mind. That's a good place to use it then. And I think I think I have him here. I think I have the big plays. I'm like, oh yeah, get that big damage off. If I played less cards, I probably would have probably would have killed him here. But oh well, three damage. So he's down to three. I'm down to six. Oh, I'm down to two. I'm down to two. We're getting clutch. My next turn will kill him though. Five damage will kill him. And he did two damage to me and the game was over. You see how clutch that got? How close that was. Oh, I was I was so unhappy when this match took place. I was seething with hatred towards him. But yeah, that's 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 Chronicles Runescape Legend. Nice little quick Nice little quick game. Little TCG, nice little TCG tabletop game for people that might be might be tired of TCGs. And I thought I'd just show that off. I might continue playing this. We'll see.